I'm Kristen Eichel, and welcome to Moms vs. Masters here on KitchenDaily.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a classic American favorite, which is chocolate cake. Mm, yummy. But we're going to have two very different renditions of it. So first of all, I'd like to introduce our chef, who is French trained, New York seasoned, but the master of American whimsical cuisine when it comes to desserts. We've got Zach Young, who's the executive pastry chef of Flex Muscles. How are you? Oh, excellent. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And coming up for the moms, we have a mother who's every birthday party, they want her chocolate cake. So let's meet her now, Alma Schneider. Hi, Hi welcome. Thank you. I personally love chocolate cake, so I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get cooking. All right. All right. Bring it on. <laughs> so what's what's your first step? I see cocoa powder in, in with dry ingredients. Yes, dry ingredients. I'm whisking them all together, getting them all combined. Now, is that the lazy way to, to sift? Well, just because I'm a home chef does not mean I do not sift. I will be sifting. Well, you know, here's, here's, here's my secret. <laughs> uh, I don't sift. You don't? Nope. All right, and are you using scalding hot water over there? What no, is that? it's just warm water. It's just going to melt the cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of making a cocoa paste here. So I have uh, two pounds of sugar. I have eight ounces of oil. And I have four eggs in here. Sour cream. Mm. Vanilla extract. And vanilla and chocolate, I think, is just one of those combinations that was made in heaven. So this is going to be my frosting. This is heavy cream. And I'm going to be heating up heavy cream and butter. And then I'm going to add in some vanilla extract, some powdered sugar and chocolate, and that will be the decadent, rich frosting. So you're making frosting. a ganache. I'm making a ganache. All right, so I'm making whoopie pies. If you've ever made whoopie pies, like you kind of scoop the batter onto the tray, and sometimes they melt yeah, and yeah. they, you know, they don't mound properly. Mm -hmm. So this is going to ensure a really nice, sexy ball. They're beautiful. So this goes on the cake after it's done, or this goes yes. on before you bake it? Yes, oh no, it? Before, after it's done, we're going to let the cake cool, and we're going to let this cool as well. Let it cool down, and then when the cake is cooled down, we can spread it. Yours looks ready for the oven. Mine is ready for the oven. Let's go. All right. Waste no time. All right, so I'm just, I'm going to be just about ready as well. Let's stick my cake in here. So are you pretty much done? Are you just going to kind of well, hang out now while I'm I still have to, No, I still have to make the filling, but I thought I'd make some sugar garnishes mm. while I had the time. So my like super easy sugar twills, two parts sugar, one part water, okay. brought that to a boil. Mm -hmm. I added uh, one part of corn syrup to it. Mm. And I'm just going to let this cook until mm -hmm. it just takes on a little bit of color, uh -huh. pull it off the heat, and then it's ready to go. All right. All right, so did you add any flavoring to your cream cheese? Well, I put in sugar. I didn't just right. put cream. I just put in sugar. No, I All didn't right. add in uh, vanilla bean, if that's where you're going. That's where I'm going. Mm. Nice touch. Just great flavor, just from the seeds. Mm -hmm. It really does make a Just scrape that out. All right, well, now I'm going to take my cream cheese filling, and I am going to gingerly <laughs> dump it into the center of my chocolate cake. And then I'm just going to put the whole thing in the oven. And while it's in the oven baking for 45 to 50 minutes, the ganache will be cooling and getting thicker and harder and easier to spread all over the cake. So this is like two cakes in one. It sort of is. It's like a chocolate cake ate a cheesecake. Exactly. It's like a turducken. Love it. <laughs> all right, so you see how this is all like bubbly and, uh -huh. and getting a little bit of color? Yeah. I'm going to kill it. This is so easy, too. And you know, right on the countertop. Right on the countertop. Wow. Granite, marble, stainless. Wow. Just don't do it on wood. So now we're just going to take these. And you want to kind of let it run off your spoon. Uh -huh. And then you can just kind of make whatever pattern you want from it. Wow. You want to let it cool slightly so it has this kind of elastic quality as it falls. Uh -huh. You're going to take a little bit of um, fleur de sel uh -huh. or any oh. kind of coarse salt. Mm -hmm. And you can just press it in. All right, these guys are out of the oven now. They're a little bit cooled. So what did you do, and what's your process next? OK, I put my cake in the oven after I had dumped the cheesecake filling inside. And it cooked for close to an hour. I kept testing it. And it cooled for about half an hour. And towards the end, I put it in the freezer just to make sure it got completely nice and set. Yes. OK, and yours over here, these Great. beautiful little. They are uh, They're done, uh, about 35 minutes in the oven. So I'm just going to take a spoon and just scoop out a little bit. So inside this well is going to be the uh, cream cheese filling. So I'm just going to fill these. Excellent. 
And what have you got going on next year? I am going to take the cake out of the spring form pan and then I'm just gonna frost it with the ganache. On the top here, it's a little sunken in and the center part is going to have extra chocolate. So it's gonna be extra mm -hmm. thick, which I love. So, so now we wanna, we wanna kind of assemble the ball. So we're just gonna pipe a little bit of cream cheese around here and that's the glue. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That's gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my whoopies. I'm just gonna lightly coat them in this batter and now right into the panko. Panko is, they're Japanese style breadcrumbs and they're super airy. If you like you're making fried chicken, you want one wet hand and one dry hand. Excellent Because you, you don't wanna wind up with panko hand. So this is, um, yeah, this is a 375 degree wow. oil. I'll stand back. So we, yeah, you might wanna stand back and we're just gonna go straight in with this. How long do they have to actually cook for? Um, maybe about 45 seconds, because you want to keep them all the way through. So we take the common denominator of chocolate cake and cream cheese and put them together with the chef's inspiration, and we've come up with this gorgeous dessert. So now we're going to see actually who gets the top plate. So you guys ready? I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I'd like to introduce Day Day Wilson from Bon Appetit magazine. Hello, Hello. welcome. Good to see you. And Good to see you. Even better to see these desserts. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Scott McMillan, who's actually here from the Institute of Culinary Education. Hello. Hello, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to be you. here. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Isla Saltzman, 10 years old, the daughter of our chef here. Excellent, welcome. Welcome. Thank okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everybody, you ready? Grab your forks, okay. take a bite, and uh, let us know what you think. The warmth of the cream cheese in the center here, I loved it, and I really liked the flavor of this chocolate cake. This, the chocolate cake I thought could have been a tad chocolatier, but this just felt like something I wanted to tuck into. I would go back for this, I would order this again. I really like the crunchy outside with the chocolate in the inside, and then you got that burst of flavor in the middle. Mm. <laughs> well, I agree on all the counts. I think that the cake in this was very chocolatey, very dense. I like the warmth of it. Excellent, all right, great. So I'm gonna hand you this card. One side is red, one side is yellow and tell us who do you think is one. One, two, three, we got. <laughs> <laughs> it oh turns out. Yes, so sweet. <laughs> Mommy has won. <laughs> and not Woo! by her daughter's <laughs> one. We'll protect you. We'll protect you. We'll be fine. So Alma, congratulations, Thank you won. You. Thank you. Very, very exciting and very surprising. <laughs> well, I think you absolutely Thank earned it. Thank you. Well, if you guys would like to try these recipes at home, you can go online to kitchendaily.com. You'll find this and a lot more. Make sure you check us out here on Moms vs. Masters next time. I'm Kristen Eichel. Thank you for watching.